All right, you should be able to hear me now. Hi, Miguel. How's it going? How's it going? All right, good to All see right. you, man. Good to see you. How was your day? Uh, could be better, but it wasn't that bad. So could be better. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I really found something nice in the end. Oh, really? What happened? Um, well, a series of an animated series, an animated series of a certain manga that I did read long, long ago, that I really liked. Nice, nice. What, what, what type of, uh, what type of anime is it? I mean, what? Comedy. <laughs> oh my God! What's the name of the the anime? What is it? It's comedy. It's called Sleepy Princess in the Demon in the Demon Castle, and well, it's about. A princess and how it messes up with the demon lords, subordinates, and everyone in there. Demon, demon lords, not demon, demon, demon lords. lords. Demon. demon lords. Nice. That's it's good, man. Good. That's good. That's that's good. You know, I like I like the indie. Whatever, I don't. If it, you know, whatever, whatever media, you know, whatever type of entertainment is indie, I like it. That's my type of thing. Although I don't have time, you know, I like playing video games, but I have, I don't have the, like no time whatsoever anymore. Uh, like if I have, if, if I have, you know, any type of spare time, I sleep. <laughs> so during my lunch time, for example, I sleep because otherwise I don't have time, you know, for sleeping. So it's crazy, man. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So what, what about your video game? How, how are you doing with that? I'm still working on it. The animations aren't going that well in the, in some parts that I want. What are you using for creating pixel art? If you're doing pixel art. It's a very, very old software. It's called Fireworks 8. Oh, okay. And what is that about? It's most... How do I say it? It's uh, mostly... a uh, how do I say? Jack of all trades software. If I wanted to say it in specific. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it I, can I, use, I understand how. It can use vectors. It can do pixel art. It can do pretty much everything, but it's not perfect for anything. Still, the simplicity that, that the software has is right there for most stuff. For most fast work, I mean. Okay, all right, very good, very good. Hey, but that's 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 cool, man. That's cool. Um, I think I find that very interesting. If I had more time, I would I would dedicate my time to doing so. I think I'm gonna do that on 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 weekends. But uh, but that's pretty awesome, man. All right. What about you, uh, Lydia? How was your day? Oh, you're muted. Uh, all fine, normal. All good. All right, a normal day, exercising as usual. Yeah. All right. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> all right. Very good. Very good. Uh, so, what do you what do you want to become? What 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 are your goals? Mine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Gain masa muscular. I, I forget how to say it. Body mass. Yeah, body mass. Uh, then los uh, la grasa que corporal que me queda. Lose. Okay, so you want to lose your 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 fat, your body fat. Yeah, my body fat and that. <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. Very good. All right, but you you look I mean you look you look slim you don't you don't look like you you have a lot of weight on you. No, I don't have that. How do you say it? my body is like no very like no muy delgadito. Okay, it's right. like That's Spanish, not very I slim. You mean? Yeah, and I don't like that. But you wanna be really 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 slim? Not like that, but no. 
Okay, all right. So, 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 what's, so, so what's your final goal <laughs> with that? Uh, to lose the, my to lose and gain, yeah, that, and gain, I forget how to say, masa muscular. Body mass. Body mass, yes. only that. And then enjoy my my fitness life. Okay, you want to lose, lose your body mass and okay, very good. But why do you want to become something or what, what do you want to do? Like, what what is your final goal? Like, what, what else I do you want to do in your life? Ah, in my life, sorry. Yes. Uh, I study a lot of more than two careers then become a businesswoman, have my own house, my own things, uh, be like my dad, but my, my proper way, my okay. own way. Yeah. All right, so, so you, um, you rely on, so, so you have my, you look after your dad a lot. Yeah, but I want to do all that things by my way. All those things. All those things by my way. On your own, by myself or on my, on my own, okay? Yeah, that. Very good. All right, that's okay, right? Very good. Welcome, Ellie, right? Nice to see you guys. Let's continue where we left off yesterday, all right? So, guys, what are indirect questions? Miguel, what are indirect, what are in indirect questions? There are questions that are not presented as questions. All right, there are questions that are not presented as questions. What are they presented um, as instead? In this case, it will, it will be as sentences. As sentences, guys, okay, very good, okay. So there are some phrases, guys, okay. So there are some phrases that we can use to introduce these as sentences, okay. All right, so we were talking about simple, uh, simple, indirect questions yesterday okay so now let's take a look at that um uh, more complex indirect questions okay all right so uh lydia help me read the first example from the complex indirect questions where the second this one right here we'll be able to get into the class we'll be able uh, -uh. will i will i be, be able, able to get into the class very good okay so will i be able to get into the class all right, so how do you ask that in an indirect way? Uh, Ellie, how do I ask for that in an indirect way? Hello, Alejandro, welcome back. Huh? Hi, good, after, good evening. Hello. Hello, hello, Alejandro. You, do you ask something? Yes, uh, how, do you, how do you transform that into an, an indirect question? So how do I say, will I be able to get into the class into an indirect question? Okay, um, this, is, this, is, this is how it's written right here? <laughs> yeah, just, just read, yeah, just read it. Okay, my being concerned is whether I'll be able to get into the class. Very good job, Hope. all right. Can how afford can anyone afford them? them? All right, let's repeat everyone. How can anyone afford them? All right, how, very good. How can anyone afford them? Very good. How, how I am, anyone, how anyone can afford them? All right, let me, let me hear you, Lydia. How can anyone afford them? Very good. How can anyone afford them? Okay. All right. Now, guys, notice this. Okay. So we're asking the same question, guys, but in, the, in an indirect manner. How anyone can afford them is beyond me. Repeat, guys. Beyond me. Beyond me. My beyond concern me. is. Repeat. My concern is. My concern, my concern is. is. Very good. Okay. Right. So we're going to use those examples, guys. Okay. All right. So let's talk more about that all right guys so for example okay will you help me okay we change that for for what guys what is the sentence so if this is a question guys oh, let me 
switch the color here. So if this is a question, guys, what is this? An indirect question. Very good, okay, so this is the indirect question, but what happens, guys? Is this, is this a question, is this the grammar structure of a question, or is this the grammar structure of a sentence? What do you think, Alejandra? Which one, this, you're asking the, for the second? The second, the second one, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the structure of a sentence. Very good, it is the structure of the sentence. Very good job, all right? So that's how we start making indirect questions, okay? All right, so let's talk about the simple, the simple ones. So now, you have to use this expression. So everybody write them down in your notebook because I'm gonna ask you in a moment, all right? So write down, I wonder, I'd like to know, I can understand. So for example, so if I want to ask Miguel if he could help me, instead of asking him, hey, Miguel, will you help me? Instead of asking him like that, I will say, I wonder if you will help me. I'd like to know if you will help me. I can't understand um, if you will help me or not, okay? So notice here, guys, okay? So I'm going to use the phrase, all right? Um, I'd like to know if or whether you will help me, all right? So you're gonna use uh, the if clause or you're gonna use whether, all right? All right, and that's how we do it, guys, okay? There are like a thousand other ways to do it, guys. But for example, how do I ask, how would you, how, how do you think that I would ask, um, let's see, Alejandra, uh, are you, if I wanna ask Alejandra, if she wants to go to the party tomorrow, so I want to ask her this, are you going to go to the party tomorrow, all right? How can I ask her for that with escuela, all right? With an indirect question, how can I ask her for that? Are you going to go to the, to the party tomorrow, Alejandra? Is that direct or is that an, a direct or indirect question, guys? Indirect. Why would this be indirect? Mm, because it's not because it's because of the structure okay it because okay so because of the structure it's a direct question when you have a direct question guys you are always going to have you're always going to have a question mark and you're always going to have the structure of a question, right? You're, you're gonna start with the auxiliary. So, if you see a question mark, guys, it is not a direct question, got it? I mean, it's not an indirect question, it is a direct question, right? Got it, Alejandra, Ellie, Lydia? Yes? Yeah. yeah. Yes, very good. Why is, it a, why is it a direct question, guys? A direct, a direct question, guys, is any question, right? Are you okay? Will you come to the party tomorrow? Um, give another example of a direct question, Miguel. What sort of example? Direct question, any direct question. That was an example. Okay, right, very good. <laughs> well, what's the example? <laughs> All right, so that, that's a direct question, right? You're a smart ass, man. Uh, Lydia, what is uh, your example? All right, so see that is a direct question too from my end, right? What is your example? Uh-huh. All right, Lydia, you're, you're muted. Everybody send me a direct question right now in the chat room, okay? All right, Lydia, let's go. I am going to say you a question or the... Oh, no, you're going to you're gonna say it to me out loud right now. Uh, but everybody else send me a question, a direct question in the chat room, okay? Uh, you, Lydia, tell me the example here. Remember, guys, a direct question is any question, any question. Ah, where is my book? Okay, very good. Okay, so where is my book? All right. Very good. Ellie, they, uh, ask me another direct question. Direct. Uh -huh, direct. Mm. <laughs> it could be anything. Any question. It could be any question. Any question. Mm. Mm, I don't know what. I don't know. <laughs> What I need to do a question. What I need to any do. any question. Just ask me any question. That is a direct I'm question. I'm doing it. I'm answering the question. What I need. Okay. No. Do. What do I need? What to do, do I? Very good. Yeah. Okay. 
Alejandra, give me another direct question. Um, yeah, but I have, uh, I have a question. I'm not really sure if I'm understanding. So whenever you say direct question, it will start with a WH question? No. A direct or... question is any question. So you can say, do you mm -hmm. like apples? Right, this is a direct question. Any question is a direct question. Any, any question. Okay. So ask me a direct question. Are you okay? Very good. Are you okay, right? Or are you okay, right? This is a direct, direct question, all right? All right, uh, did you send me the examples, guys? In the chat room, I only see one, I only see Miguel. Is that a direct question? All right, that is a direct question. Very good, all right? Now, do we understand, guys, what is a direct question? Lydia, Miguel, Eli, Alejandra, is that clear? Alejandra, Eli? Yes. All right, very good, very good, okay. All right, guys, so how do we make uh, an indirect question? So how do I say, are you gonna go to the party tomorrow indirectly? Is there a way to say that? What do you think, guys? Give me your, ex I mean, tell me, guys, tell me, is it possible, guys, to, to make indirect questions out of direct questions about, like, indirect questions out of any type of direct question, yes or not? Let me give you an example, guys. Uh, well, we only have one man here, but I don't know if you've ever gotten someone asking you if you have a boyfriend, right? But they don't ask you directly, do you have a boyfriend, right? Most of them don't, they don't, don't do it. Yes or not, girls? <laughs> right? All right? They say, hey, pero so I know how to know you, right? So that, guys, is an indirect question, right? I mean, that's in an indirect way of saying, of asking the question if you have a boyfriend or not, right? That's not an indirect question, guys, but that's an indirect way of saying, of asking that question. Do you understand that? Yes? All right. So instead of they asking you, hey, mira, tiene novio, ellos te preguntan, hey, pero, uy, pero suena harto novio, ¿verdad? No, es que no tengo novio. Ah, pues, right? They're asking you about that, right? Right, very good, guys. So, Miguel, ya sabes. <laughs> All right, so uh, so that's 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 a way of uh, asking something indirectly, guys, because they're not actually asking a question, right? But they're trying to get the answer out of you. That is not, guys. That is not. I don't want to. I don't want you to take that as a, as a real reference because that's not the structure of an indirect question, right? But let's let's take for example the the example that I gave you before. All right. So if I, so, so Alejandro said, are you okay, all right? So how can I transform this, okay? So first of all, guys, okay, let's use one of the phrases that we learned from before, the ones that I asked you to write down. So who can, who can give me one sentence, guys? One, one phrase, I'm sorry. Who can give me one of the phrases? I wonder if you're okay. Very good, very good, okay? I wonder, all right, let's start with a phrase. I wonder, what is I wonder? I am asking myself, okay? I wonder, I wonder if you are okay. Because guys, if, if the question is, are you okay? What is the sentence? How, how do we transform that into a sentence? You are okay. Very good, okay, you are okay, got it? All right, so now I just joined, you know, the phrase with an if clause, I wonder if you're okay, and no question mark, okay? So if I tell you guys, me pregunto si está bien, does that sound like a question? Yes or not? Me pregunto si está bien, Alejandra. Is that a question? Does that sound like a question or not? No. Yeah, yes, yes, guys, of course, right? See, if I say, me pregunto si está bien, right? But it's oh, not a question, self. right? Me pregunto si está bien. Sí, fíjate que estoy bien, right? Because you can answer to that. But remember, it's not, see, I'm not using a question mark, guys, okay? I'm, I'm using a sentence to make a question, right? So that's example number one, right? Let's let's give me another give me another question, guys. Another direct question, Alejandro. Um. Um. Why you're here? Oh, let's follow the structure of a question. 
why you're here? Are we missing something here? Why are you here? Very good, okay, why are you here, okay? All right, so Alejandra, how can I transform this into an indirect question? Mm, um, I... Did you write down the phrases? I wonder. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm trying to remember. All right, uh, write that. Okay, that's why you have to write down the I sentences. Wonder. I'll give you five oh, seconds well. to write them down here. So I wonder, I'd like to know, or oh, I can't I understand, right? So. Okay, I like to know if you, I like to know why you're, why are you here? I'd like to know why are you here? Are you sure? You why are you are here. Why you are here. Question mark or no question mark? Question mark. No, no question mark, guys, because it's no. not a direct question. No. Any direct questions, guys, don't have question marks. What did I say, guys? Any direct questions, what? Alejandro, Eli, Lydia, Miguel? Question mark. Let us have a question mark. Okay, indirect questions equals no question mark, okay? Remember that. All right, no question marks. All right, very good. Um, uh, ask me a question, Miguel. All right. Ask me a question uh, and then let's respond. Direct or, direct or not? Okay, direct or not. Okay. All right. But we're missing something here because this is an informal question, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you say direct or not, you which is... This you actually, wasn't actually, the question for this case. What? <laughs> oh, it wasn't the question for this case. Uh-huh. All right, so but I'm, you can say, is question? it... Is it is it direct or not? Let's write this one. Is it direct or not? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's transform this. Do they transform me? I would yeah, like let's... to. No. Oh. Go, ahead. All right, go, go, Ellie. Go, Ellie. No, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Miguel. Let's go. I can't Hola. understand. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, go ahead. I can't understand mm -hmm. if it is direct or not. Beautiful, man. If it is, if it is direct or not. Good job, man. Good job. All right, see, Miguel is very smart, guys. Good job. Applause for Miguel, guys. Applause for Alejandro, too. Very good. Very good, all right? So who, wants to, who else wants to give you a shot, guys? Oh, Ellie, right. Ellie, let's go. Ask me a question, Ellie. No, 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 it was an accident, but <laughs> I'm not okay. ready. Was it an accident? Okay, I like that. Was it an accident? All right, Ellie, let's transform that. Was it an accident? I mean, uh, Lydia, let's transform that. Was it an accident? Um... I like to know if if it was an accident. Beautiful, if it was an accident. Good job, that was for Lita, guys. <laughs> Lita, why did why do you take off your 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 uh your glasses to read? It should be the other way around. <laughs> because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it be the other way around? Like you put them on so you can read better. No, I use my my glasses to see far, not near. Oh, okay. All right. I got it. So you have this thing. I don't know how to, how to call it. You have, um, how do you call this thing? Uh, I forgot. I'll remember it. I'll, I'll remember it later. But yeah, there is, there is, there is something. There is, there is a, there is uh, something in your eyes that won't, doesn't allow you to to uh, look far, you know. Um, yes, but oh, it's astig not astigmatism. It's not that's, yeah. Myopia. It's that's, not myopia. It's it's astig astigmatism, right? No. No. Okay, right. That's what no. I got in this eye. Though. All right, very good. It's other, other. It's, a, it's thing. another. It's another thing. Okay, very good. Yeah. 
All right, Alejandra, let's uh, ask me a question, right? And then transform that into, a direct, into a, an indirect question. What is this? What is this? Okay, what is this, right? Indirect question. Um, I can't, I can't understand what this is. Well, this is very good. I can't understand what this is. Good job, Mr. Alejandra. Good job. All right, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. Is it clear as tequila or clear as coffee? It's clear coffee. as coffee or tequila? Coffee? Oh, my God. Don't don't say that. If it is clear as coffee, I need to explain it again. Seriously. No, I understand. Okay, right. Clear as, clear as, clear as tequila, then. Or clear yeah, as coffee. like that. Like what? <laughs> like tequila. <laughs> All right, very good. I'm teasing you. All right, guys. So, um, so those are those are simple, indirect questions. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna do an exercise. I'm gonna divide you into. We're gonna do two couples. Okay. And what I want you to do is to come up with examples with, with uh, with spoken examples, guys, of direct versus indirect questions. Meaning that you're going to say, for example, you're going to start asking questions. The girl's going to say, how are you? All right. And then if, if Lid is your couple, Miguel, Lid is going to say, um, I wonder, I wonder uh, if you're okay. All right. Hey, how will you transform that? How are you? I wonder if you, how, how are, or how are you? How you are? I wonder how you are. Okay. But now, there is, okay, that's a good one, okay? Because I want you to understand something. Yes, you could say, first of all, how are you? All right? If I say, I wonder if, you're going to say, if you are how, okay? <laughs> this doesn't make sense, okay? Now, you have to, here, guys, you have to insert the idea what, what how are you means. How are you doesn't mean, like, the, the reason why, I guess, is because so, how are you uh, It's a question for asking if you are feeling okay, all right? I wonder if you are or if, you, or, or, or if you're okay, right? So I wonder if you're okay. You are okay, all right? So this is how you would make this question into an indirect question. Got it? All right. What if I – so – so basically, okay, so Miguel is going to say something like this, okay? This is an example. This is not what you're going to say, Miguel. You can say whatever you want, right? So Miguel is going to say something like this. And then Lydia is going to say this, for example. All right? Is it clear, guys, what we're going to do? Yes? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. All right, then. So let's go ahead and yes. practice. All right, very good. All right, let's go. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, okay. You actually ended up with Lydia. All right, very good. <laughs> um, I'm fine. I, so she asked, how are you? You have to transform I wonder, that. I, I'm going to. I'm going to. I wonder if you are okay, or I wonder whether you are okay or not. Very good, all right. Let's go. Now your turn, Miguel. Have you done the exercises? I'd like to know if you have done the exercise. Very good. good. All right. Now your turn, Lydia. Your turn. Ah, it's my turn. Sorry. Um, <coughs> do you have... Do, do you eat breakfast? I... I'd like to know if you have eaten breakfast. Okay, all right. All right, she's not asking you if you, if you have eaten breakfast. Okay? She no, I ask you if you eat breakfast. Exactly. No. I'd like to know if you do eat breakfast. If you do eat breakfast now. It's okay. I'd like to. <laughs> it's okay. I well, usually you do in this case. All right. Now, if you say do, it's absolutely okay. But when you use do, guys, it means that you are emphasizing something, okay? It's like saying if you do, right, if it is true or not that you eat breakfast, okay? I was wondering if you do eat breakfast means like 
It's like asking, I, I don't know if it is true or not, okay, if you eat breakfast or not, okay? All right, but it is okay. It's just, you know, it's it's basically that when you do that, it's like you don't believe her that she eats breakfast, okay? All right, but very good, okay? Now your turn, Miguel. Um, how do you do it? Mm, I can't understand how do you do it. That's what your question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's ah, it's my turn. No, 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 no. All right, Miguel, is that is that was that correct or not? No. Repeat me the question, please. The question is, how do you do it? How do you do it? I like to know how do you do it. All right. Explain, Miguel. Explain what's wrong there. You're just repeating the question, not turning it into a sentence. Let me see. I am going to write. That's all right. Mm -hmm. All right, so correct each other, okay? okay. I'll be back. I like the time it is going to take. What time it's going like, to take? What, what is that? Time? All right. Like how much time or? Yeah. Oh, you mean I how much time is it so. going to take? Or the question should be how much time? Maybe, is it maybe, how much time? How much time? I wonder how much time is going to take. Very good, okay. I wonder how much time is going to take. Very good, All right? Now your turn, Alejandra. Um, I'm sorry, what is it, Alejandro? How can I do this? How can I do this? All right, Ellie, let's go, Ellie. I I will I I would like to know how can I do it? How can I? Do, do this? That? Do it. How can I do it? I was wondering how can I do it, or I wonder how can I do it. Is that correct, Alejandro? I wonder how can I do it. How? Uh, yeah. Are you asking a question, how... or are you are you making a sentence? I wonder how can I how can I do it. If I say how can I do it, is that a question yeah. or a sentence? Mm. Question. All right. Remember, indirect questions are not, you don't have to, to use the structure of a question. You have to use the structure of what? Uh, I wonder if I can do it. Very good. I wonder if I can do it. Okay. All right. Okay. Don't, don't forget about that. All right. Continue. I'll be right back. I'm going to check on the other guys. That's good. Okay. Let me think. Um, can you give me your phone number? I'd like to know whether you can give me your phone number. Hey, that's nice. Good job. I'd like to know how, no, that's, I started the other way. <laughs> what way was I supposed to do it? I'd like to know what you supposed to do. No. Repeat me the question, please. What way was I supposed to do it? What way? What way what? Was I supposed to do it? Do it. Let me think. I can't understand what way you supposed to do it. No. What way I was supposed to do it? Okay, let me see. I like to know, I know. I wonder, no, I don't know. 
Uh, what was your question, Miguel? In your what way was I supposed to do it? All right. Very good. All right. Um, all right. It's not wait, me guys. It's could you hold on? All right. Could you hold on? Could you hang on? All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. What was your question, Miguel? What way was I supposed to do it? Okay. What way was I supposed to do it? Very good. All right. That's. I already did it here, but in uh, okay. one way. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, really. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Okay. So I don't know that. I don't know. All right, try um, it, try it. Just try. Uh, Repeat me the question, please. What way was what way? I supposed to do it? What way was I supposed to do it? Okay. There's a couple of ways to do this one, actually. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go to um, to more complex questions, okay? And uh, so we're gonna go back for a moment, and then we're gonna come back, okay? Okay. Right. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's talk about making more in like making more complex indirect questions. Okay? okay. All right. So now let's take a look. It is exactly the same thing, guys. There is nothing that changes in reality. However, we are usually going to use the verb be. Okay. So let's take a look at this example, uh, Miguel. All right. So let's take a look at the two phrases that we learned. My big concern is is beyond me. Okay. Notice, guys, that this can be used at the beginning or at the end of the sentence, okay? Notice that we're also using the verb. What is there? What is this verb, guys? What verb is that, guys? Is? What is that? Be. Very good, okay, all right, it is the verb be, right? So, so for example, guys, can I say something else aside from this, okay? Write this down in your notebook, guys. My big concern is, and is beyond me, all right? Write it down in your notebook, all right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Are we good? Do you have your notebook? Alejandra, Ellie, Lydia, Miguel? Very good. I'm copying it. All right, very good. Take your time. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, so let's go to the whiteboard. All right, so Alejandra, uh, let's start with the phrase that we just learned, all right? To make, uh, to make a complex indirect question. Alejandra? So I have to use at the beginning my big concern very good. Okay, my my big concern what? My big concern is whether let's, my big concern let's, is. Let's leave it here. Let's leave it here, and now let's ask her. Um, ask ask me a question. Any question? Um. Do you play soccer? Very good. Do you play soccer? Okay. Do you play soccer? All right. All right. So my big concern is, so how can we turn this into a question using my big concern is? Whether if okay, you play soccer. Good. All right. So my big concern is whether, whether if or just whether. I think whether if just weather. It, just weather. Yeah, weather substitute if if okay. 
So we only use whether. All right, my big concern is whether, um, or actually, you know what? Let's just whether, uh, yeah, whether you play soccer, all right? Now, if you use whether if, like this, whether if you play soccer, all right, you would need to add or not. Okay, I was uh, my big concern is whether if you play soccer or not. But since we're not gonna use the last part, whether you play soccer, all right, just like this. Okay, so my big concern is whether you play soccer. All right. So uh, very good. Okay, so let's try another one. Uh, Lydia, give me give me one question. Uh, let me a moment. Mm. Do you study all the night? Do you study what? All the night. Okay. Do you study all night? Okay. You should be like this. Do you study all night? All right, Miguel. How can how could I transform this? Let's use if this time. Let's yeah. use. Let's not use weather. If you study all night. You study uh, all night. It's, uh, beyond, it's beyond me. It's beyond. Repeat, guys. Beyond. 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 Not beyond. No, 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 no. Beyond. This is the Y, guys. It's pronounced just use like an E. Beyond. 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 Just beyond. 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 Try to say this, guys. Beyond. 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 All right. So just like that, okay? If you study all night, it's beyond me. Me, okay? All right, very good. All right, good job. Uh, Lydia, let's go uh, ask another question. Um, what do you know, do at night? What do you do at night? Okay, Alejandro, let's transform this into, uh, into an question interview. Mark? Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you do at night? Question mark. Good job, all right? I like that. Okay, so what do you do at night? All right, so let's transform this into an indirect question. Uh, Ellie. Oh, no, no, uh, I don't know if really is there. Alejandra, let's go, Alejandra. So what do you do, what do you do all night? Or at night in this case? My, my, um, My big concern is everybody else in the next What you do at you night? Know? Okay, so my no, big my big concern night. is yes, right. My big concern is what you do at night. No, right. What do you do at night, guys? Do what you do night? at night? What do you do? Very good. Okay, my big concern is what you do at night. Very good. All right, is this correct, guys? Yes, no? Yes, it is, right? Very good job. Well done. All right, let's try to use, um, let's try to use this time uh, Beyond Me, okay? So let's let's have an example with Beyond Me. Uh, Miguel, ask me a question. Actually, you know what, let's, actually, let's, let's talk about third person now. Um, ask me a question about anyone in the classroom, Miguel. Let's see. What is Lydia doing? Okay, what is Lydia doing? Okay, very good. All right, send me your examples, guys, of the answer here, how to transform this into an indirect question using Beyond Me. All right, so Ellie, let's try it. So let's use Beyond Me to transform this into an indirect question. <laughs> I'm taking my dinner. The what? <clears throat> what is Lydia doing? Is beyond me. Very good. Right? Beyond Can me. Hear me? No. Okay. Very good. What? What Lydia? Okay. What? What is Lydia, Lydia doing? Beyond me. Is the what Lydia is doing? Ah. Uh -huh. Is is beyond me. Very good. Okay. Good job. All right. Applause for Ellie. I'm guys. taking my my dinner. So I'm so sorry. I, my mouth was. 
It's sí, sí. okay. It's okay. Um, Miguel Bolaños says, my big concern is whether I can come up with an example. Very good job. Uh, whether is misspelled, by the way, concern. I thought that was an M, but really? it says concern. All right, yes. very good. Whether he can do it or not is beyond me. Good job. All right, let's send, send me your examples. Lydia, Alejandra, I send me your examples in the chat. Very good, guys. All right, now, can I use other, what, what, think about it, guys, okay? Let's, let's get out of the, you know, let's think outside of the box for a moment. Can I say another phrase aside from this? Can I use something else? Check this out, guys. I can say, my question is, my question is, if you'd like to come to the party with me, All right? What would be the direct question in this case, uh, Alejandro? I'm using another thing now, right? My big question is, I just made that up. So what would be the, the real question here? What would be the direct question, Alejandro? The direct question? Mm -hmm. um, are you coming to the party with me? All right, or would you like, right? Would you like to come right. to the yeah. party? But, but that's okay, I mean, are you coming to the party with me? It's acceptable too, right? Would you like to come with uh, to the party with me? Very good job, all right? Question mark or no question mark, Alejandra? Question mark. Very good, okay. Why are we not using, guys, a question mark here? In this question here? Because it's an indirect question. Very good, question. because it is an indirect question, right? Let's, let's, guys, can, can you think about another phrase that we can use here? in order to come up with an indirect question. I, I, okay, I gave an example, but right? My question is, my question is, right? Me pregunta es si vos podés venir a la, a la fiesta conmigo o no. Right? I want to well, know. Okay, no, but, but come up with a different phrase, okay? Can I say, I I'm sorry, what? I want to know. Very good, I want to know, very good. I want to know. If you can come to the party with if me. If you can come to the party with me. Very good, all right? All right, we can say also, I was wondering, I was wondering, you know, I was, I was thinking and wanted to, uh, okay, I, I wanted to ask, you can say, I wanted, I wanted to ask you if you uh, if you wanted to come to the party with me. I wanted to ask you if you wanted to come to the party with me. All right, see. All right, can, can you think about another example, guys? All right, so let's practice, guys, making more complex and direct questions, okay? And at I the same, wonder. Uh -huh, tell me, tell me. Can you say wonder? Yes, I wonder. But I wonder wouldn't it be so so complex, right? But yeah, you can use I wonder. I wonder if, or I wonder whether, right? I wonder if you'd like to come to the party with me. I like. I wonder if you'd like to come to the party with me. I was wondering if blah blah. blah. I. What what else, guys? What else can we say? I need to know. Can I say this? I need to know. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, if you are coming to the party with me is something that makes me, that makes me stay awake all night. Is this another way of saying a complex? Is this another way of saying it, guys? Something that makes me stay awake at, uh, awake at night. Is this, is this, do you think that that's a good example? Is this a question? No. I, if you're coming to the party with me, something that makes me stay awake all night, all right? It is an indirect question, guys, okay? I mean, you're asking to yourself. But if you're coming to the party with me is, um, is something that I've, being wandering, right? 
to see guys you can you can use this now if you want to use it like that guys the trick about this guys if you want to do it quickly like that's the, the trick is this okay at the end you're gonna use the verb what verb is that the verb be right so let's try to do it with this question okay i'm gonna give you a question and you try to transform it right um what's up <laughs> what's up okay all right, uh, Alejandra, let's try to give, give me give me a complex indirect question using it at the end. Whatever you want to say, but say it at the end, okay? Actually, I wonder. Go. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not because if you say, what's up, guys, this is like saying, how are you? In this case, you would say, I will, if, if, if you're okay or not, is something that I wonder, for example, right? All right, so let me have another example. Um, would you marry Miguel? All right, so that's the question. All right, so how would you how would you transform this, Alejandra? Um. Um. My big concern is whether you mm -hmm. my biggest concern is whether you will marry Miguel very good okay all right now let's try to use it at the end at the end of the sentence okay can I say if you would marry Miguel is beyond me can I say this Yes. Yes, guys. Okay. Can I say if you would uh, if you would marry Miguel is my big concern. Can I say this? Yeah. All right. Very good. If you would marry with, I'm sorry, I misspelled with. Okay. If you would marry Miguel is beyond me. All right. Or is my big concern. All right. Very good, guys. Let me take a look at your examples in the chat room um let's see ellie says my concern if my concern is if you're okay very good uh lydia says what what is what is she eating what she's eating is be okay you're meaning the verb is there uh, lydia uh what she's eating is beyond me okay uh miguel whether you would marry me whether whether you would marry miguel or not is something i have no idea of. i have okay very good it's something i don't i have no idea about okay all right, very good. All right, it's something that I don't have any idea of. That would be another way to say it. Very good, guys. Okay, all right, I think that you understood, guys. Well done. Any questions, guys? Questions, questions, all right. We have, we have uh, five minutes, guys. So what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna solve exercise 2.8, okay? So everybody, let's jump into exercise 2.8. I'll give I you- I think it's a little too long for five minutes. <laughs> You think it's a little bit too long? No, it's not. All right, you're you're good. All right. So, um, or you know what? Let's let's try to solve it together, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. I think we have enough time for doing that. All right. Uh, so, Miguel, what do you think about the uh, the first example? All right. Will airlines ever stop losing passengers' luggage? So, rewrite the question. These questions using the words in parentheses, okay? So, mm -hmm. the first phrase is "I wonder." So, how would you say this, Miguel? I wonder if airlines will ever stop closing passengers' luggage. Okay, I wonder if airlines, okay, uh, if airlines will ever airlines. stop losing, losing passengers' passengers luggage. Actually, it should be like the passengers' luggage, okay? All right, question mark or no question mark, Lydia? No, no. It doesn't accept it as after being fixed. Uh, it doesn't accept it as, as what? I'm sorry. It doesn't accept a fixed way to write passengers. Oh, okay. You have to write it down with the great way. Because it's passengers, it's not passengers. Uh -huh. But it only accepts with an A there. Oh, okay, right. This is the, 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 the spelling here, guys, is not passengers, it's passengers. Okay, with an A. With an E, okay, but um, 
but just put it as, as whatever the platform tells us to put it as, okay? All right, uh, Lydia, number two. How do I correct a mistake on my phone bill? And the word that you I, have to use is I'd like to know. I'd like to know how I do correct a mistake on my phone bill. So you say how I do correct a mistake in my phone bill. All right, this is incorrect, Lydia, so we're gonna go back to that. Let's try to let's try to see what's incorrect there and then do we'll it. give the answer, okay? But try to do it yourself right now, Lydia, okay? Number three, uh, Alejandra. Um, why can't I, well, sorry, I'm reading. Why can't I use my cell phone in an elevator? The thing I don't get is why, the thing I don't get is why I can't use my cell phone in an elevator. Okay, cell phone. Uh, this should be to like it should be one word guys but we're gonna separate it just thank you whether i can use my cell phone in an elevator okay all right very good uh let's see uh hey, lydia do you have number two or not yet no. all right very good number four uh miguel uh why can i i uh, know wait how can i get tickets to sold out concerts and the answer is I want to find out how I can get tickets to sold out concerts. How I can get tickets to sold out to sold out okay. concerts. Very good. All right, uh, number five, uh, Alejandra. I'd like to know when the government will deal with global warming okay when the government all right government okay will deal with global warming okay very good uh number six uh ellie ellie five four three two uh, one uh-huh well, uh is something I can't understand why people do complain so much. No, yeah. that's incorrect. Um, why, why do people complain so much? Why do now? That's incorrect. Uh, Miguel, let's go. Why people complain so much is something I can't understand. So much is oh, okay. something I can't understand. Okay. All right. Period. And number two, do you get it, Lydia? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go, uh, Alejandro. Uh, um, I, I would like to know uh -huh. how 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 I how I, I correct a how I no I don't know. I, I'll correct I would the like to know my, how I correct the mistake on my phone bill. All right, very good, guys. Okay, I have another class right now, guys. But good job. All right, you got it, guys. Woohoo! Beautiful. All right. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I have to run, guys. I'm sorry that I don't have time to say goodbye, but goodbye, guys, and love you all. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. There you go. All right, see you guys.